YouTube today, and Stucky of Boston 19 here today. Today, what I'm going to be teaching you is how to get this um, hot virtual keyboard. It's right here. This is a Vsys theme. Um, you don't have to have Vista for it. It's just um, this is what I have set as. You can do a lot of things with it. And as I type, it'll, um, you know, like, okay, so right now I'll just press, um, type in my name, Ducky of Awesome. 19 okay so yeah it'll it'll come up on here and you can also click click what you want it has a bunch of things you could choose where you want the keyboard what type of keyboard you want what color it is uh what themes you could do a bunch of stuff with it where you want it on top on the bottom you could do a lot of things with this keyboard put it that way okay now i'm going to teach you how to install that so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your internet explorer or whatever you have Go to google.com, www.google.com, and then in the box, you want to type in hot virtual keyboard, all right? Now, once you've done that, it should come up right under the first one. It should say virtual keyboard download, dot, dot, dot. You may download hot virtual keyboard software to your computer and evaluate. Hot dash virtual dash keyboard dot com slash download slash you're going to want to click on that okay now right here it's hot virtual keyboard 7.1 build february 24 2012 self extracting exe 3.82 mb you're going to want to click download save the file save it okay now just wait for that to load it won't take that long Alright, so now what you want to do, open that folder, oh, one sec, alright, so, and then, so, V key, uh, setup, underscore setup, select your language, next, you can read this if you want, the terms of use, but then, it, um, in order for you to, um, go to the next page, you have to accept it, and if you click don't, it will just exit you out, alright, select your document you want it in, if don't create a start menu folder, that's if you want on your start menu right here. That's if you want that. Um, yeah, what you want to name it, where you want it, all right? So um, click next. If you want to create a desktop icon, what would that would just be like on your desktop? You know, like where I had that virtual keyboard uh, right here. It would be like this on your desktop. And um, a quick launch item would be like down here like one of these on the bottom and yeah and then um so you just click on the boxes to check them click next and then click install and then wait for this to load and it's good i'm going to cancel the setup because i already have this installed and that's all you need to do and then it's going to come up the next thing that's going to come up it's going to be all this stuff well, just follow the, it's just that the next thing it's just going to be well, um it's going to tell you how to like whatever you want to customize it at what do you want to like you know like mine was the Vista one. Um, you can customize it, make it look however you want. So um, yeah. So now I'm gonna show you how it works. So what you wanna do is, so I'm just gonna open it up. All right. Now, okay. So just one sec. Okay. So go to your Start Programs. Accessories and Notepad. I'm just going to show you this how this works. So what I can do is I could type in. So you can see my mouse up here. It's not down here. I could type in hello YouTubers, or then I for a space I could just do this. Then I could click Shift, and it'll make sounds too. Hello YouTubers. Oh, well, I didn't put it in the box, so, um, well, it might not work on, uh, Notepad, but, yeah, it works on pretty much everything, though. Yeah, it works on a lot of things, so, like, if I can go on Google...
could go on Google and I could type, I could go down here. And again, we'll type in the box and everything. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video is very helpful to you.